Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is One of One, but you can call me Seven. And you can call me Steven. And we are at the very end of our tournament arc here in um in Trails in the Sky. Yes, sir. Uh, well, are we are we in the sewers pre final? I'm not I, what... I'm not sure where we last like saved. The, I the, think that is. What I do know though is that you told me Oh, I was like Hey, are we like close to the end? Because uh, oh, as, yeah. as as the rest of you guys know, I was really surprised when it was like the final chapter. Um, and then Steven informed me, "Hey, man, they're not gonna let you go without a bit of a fight." Yeah, I can explain. I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain it later as we get when there. we get to it. When we get to it, yeah, I'll, I'll make a, a comparison. I think everyone will understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because I know that a couple of you guys are either playing this game currently while you watch or. Um, starved for content. Yeah, starved for content. And so, like, it, it's nice because you have the juxtaposition of Steven, who has a lot of knowledge of this series for context. I'm um, one of you. I'm the. I'm a starver or starving, uh, starving man. Yeah, yeah. No, he um he 100 percent of this game a couple days ago. I did. And um, I'm, I'm working on the second chapter, and there's a lot I forgot. So I'm excited for uh, if and when seven gets there. And then there's just me, <laughs> who I'm like, hey man, can you like hold my hand? I need help. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Let's get moving. Let's get into it. Hey, Niall! Pardon us? Hey, you, you're here. What's good, man? Amazing. Dorothy actually got a message to you guys and then screw it up. Well, miracles never cease. The miracle that will really come one day is when you're actually kind to her because she deserves it, you dickhead. <laughs> no, he is. He shows it different, okay? Oh my god. Sorry, you're one your match today. Yeah, fucking barely. Grant tried to put his paws on us. Yeah, the special. Yeah, <laughs> I he heard did. the Grand Special really gave you a number. Yeah, he number did. He did, actually, but we had to start over. <laughs> sure, there was an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from Yeah, we did it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Why is that your reaction? <laughs> About what we discussed earlier. Yes, yes, yes. Straight to, yeah, straight to business. Some background on those big shots. Niall held out a black file folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get out some documents. Let's just say they're oh. on loan from some of my army contacts. Okay. But keep that under your hat. Okay, right. big man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and read it here. Estelle and Joshua opened the black folder. Oh, I was getting, the music stopped. You know, it's serious. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, okay. Oh, baby. Let's go from bottom to top. Alrighty. Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you for the image. Yeah, uh, the sprint. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Age and nationality unknown. A member of Jester. J Jester? Uh, um, I don't know if we talk, if they talked about I it. I don't think they not. have. This is a name completely unfamiliar to me. Okay, then uh, I will refrain. Who was invited <laughs> by Colonel Richard to join the Intelligence Division. Previous activities, unknown. He's been in disguise all along. He's not even from Liberal. And what's up with his old job as a mercenary being one big blank spot? Yeah, Jaeger Corps. It's a Jaeger Corps, so yeah, that's, that, this is what there's. Jaeger Corps are known as oh. uh, the best mercenaries in the business for good reason. No kidding. So maybe the colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It's a possibility. I think I've heard the jester somewhere before. Oh, sure. Okay. Amalthea. There she is. Captain Canone Amalthea. Canone? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's what I would pronounce it as. Okay. Born 1175 in Liberal's capital city of Grand Cell. Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office shortly after graduation. 1201, reassigned to the newly re, uh, the newly formed intelligence division on Colonel Richard's recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Richard's uh, aide-de-camp, assisting directly with military operational command. Excellent grades again. Another intellectual big shot, looks like. That appointment means that she's been working with Colonel Richard for a long time. No wonder she's so loyal to Remind me what year it is again? Um, is it twelve oh five? I think so. I think it's. I think it's twelve oh five. Okay, so she's been working with him for four years. Then, all right. And then Colonel Richard. Yeah. Colonel Alan Richard, born eleven sixty eight in the Rouen region of Le Bureau. graduated head of his class from the military academy. Later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius Bright. Hold on. Eleven sixty eight. It's twelve oh two. By the way, just I oh. looked it up. Okay, I couldn't thank remember. you. So it's a very soon. Okay. After. Okay. Oh, so only a year. Because the intelligence division is recent. Yes. Um, this puts him close to 40. Right? Um, oh, no. No, no, sorry. No, no, no. He, he's like, he's in his 30s. Okay, so 1192, recognized for distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days War. 
appointed a staff of the Military Operations Office after Colonel Bright's retirement. 1201. Suggested formation of Intelligence Division. Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Wow. Pretty impressive. Well, he is the man in charge. He always seemed to be pretty sharp. Looks like Major Sid was right about him serving under Dad ten years ago. Hmm. So Dad really was a colonel. I wonder why he retired. I mean, he had respect and fame and all that. Oh, oh, close. I thought it was like yeah, a new I thing that like, like, wait, hold had on. slipped out of the pages. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for this, Niall. At least we know a little more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I'm learning a few juicy tidbits while I was digging around, too. What you got for us, man? Juicy tidbits? For example, First Lieutenant Julia Swartz of the Royal Guardsmen, currently wanted Did she get away? Was in the Academy the same year as Captain Alma Oh, hell yeah? They got history? <laughs> they never gave off the impression that they got along all they that They kissed well. once. It probably. And it was not, it, it was the start of everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, it, 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 it's ruined <laughs> single-handedly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, here there were academic, ac academy rivals. Oh. Kanone's so got the brains and Julia's got the combat skills. Pretty big difference Brain there. Brain and bronze. Oh, I see, I'd imagine so. Looks like Julia's always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Next up, and this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. Mm-hmm. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? No. Bet it's, uh... <laughs> bet it's, uh, our gal. <laughs> we just didn't know her by that name. Yeah. You mean Matron Teresa? Yeah. If memory serves, so she was orphaned when the crown prince and his wife died. Hmm. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. Correct. She weren't right. She's not well known, but she is the direct descendant of the queen. From what I can dig up, she lives in the royal keep and pretty much stays there most of the That's time. That's a lie. And it seems someone's been looking for pro prospective marriage candidates. Probably for true. Probably true there. Yeah. That's not super unusual for rich families, but still, just gross. That's not the point. I mean, the issue here is, who is this someone? <laughs> Spot on, kid. It could be... What? Screw up! I know who it is! Who Come is on. it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I just... Well, no, who is looking for the marriage prospe or prospects? Oh, I misunderstood the question. Yeah, not who is she gonna marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's not even who is she gonna marry. I was just, I again, we 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 know who the princess is, but um, yeah, right. Th that that that's what I meant. But I I just this goes to show my reading comprehension skills. Um, <laughs> no, uh, you're good. Uh, uh, it's definitely Colonel Richard to try and keep her from uh, because she knows he knows that um she could be a problem. I mean, we saw her get captured by the intelligence division. Um, um, well, we yeah. presume. Uh, so, sorry, yeah. I should say I we presume. We saw the intelligence division uh, airship land in front of her. They hella dropped on her ass. <laughs> Disembark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Colonel Richard. Nice. Yeah, not bad, kid. It is Colonel Richard who's been secure, or scouring foreign countries for a suitable candidate. Looks Probably like. he's a means to control her if he can. Most likely. Yeah. Or marry her off so she's out of the way, basically. Yeah. Isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty interesting, ain't it? Now there's something I want from you two. A hug from my from my from my adopted children. Could sure give me some more smokes. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to win the tournament and get you some information at the dinner party, right? Correct. Is that about the long and short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking for stuff, are you? Hey, uh yeah, I literally got you information. <laughs> Call give and take, sweetheart. Oh, Truly, it's been helpful. Oh, alright. We'll let you know if we find out anything. That's what I like to hear. Well, if all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you. Fair too. enough. Uh, ding, dude, ding, ding. it's funny because it's like, the alarm is ringing. <laughs> Excuse me, the <laughs> right. Nile alarm is, is, is ringing. Slides down the fireman pole. <laughs> yeah. Liberal news. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for you to call in. Oh. Wait, starting now? Okay, got it. I'll meet you there. Well, what's going on? Sorry to cut and run on you, but I got to, uh, got to meet someone. Okay. Sounds like here for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a night owl anyway. I'm a I'm a gumshoe hitting the pavement. Yeah. All the way up during the daytime while the crazy chicks being crazy. Hey, chill with that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, no big. Kids can kick back and relax while I'm at. Kick back. Kick back mention? Sorry. Uh, good luck with your work. <laughs> you too. Don't screw up tomorrow's match. Thanks, bud. Really, really it's encouraging. It's his way of showing he cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What should we do now? <laughs> if we should stop by the kill, then go back. Yeah. Yeah. Then report the info. All right, all right. Advancing, Kurt's loss, good match, no. pretty intense. Um, yeah, we weren't better than Kurt. We just got lucky. We had Jin yeah, along I with Olivia's guns and magic to cover for our mistakes.
Is there... They both... It's 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 kind of unfair for the Bracers because we got we got Jin, who is known as the Immovable Wall. Yeah. And, um, and then the <laughs> International Man of Mystery himself. True. J literal James Bond and, <laughs> like, one of the strongest Bracers in the business. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, any more information? Here you go. Oh, no. Elvin's the leak. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, part of a Jaeger I wish core. you hadn't said that pulls gun from Coat Pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, it's official. You know too much. <laughs> yep. Okay. Gil Jaeger core, I feel like, is a term I've never heard before. I think this is a new it's, concept being introduced it, to We me. have heard it in passing. It's, yeah. It's rare that it comes up, but it has come up before. We just kind of gloss over it. Okay. And not to interfere, you see, the Jaegers largely revel in such matters of state. I understand. Yeah. They're, they're often employed in border disputes. I see. Oh, uh, they're like... They're like cell swords, whereas we're like an organized like like yeah. They're mercenaries, and we're well. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. okay like now a, that now that we say that, what really does separate us, I guess, is yeah. Like, is it's, like it's more of a principle matter than a yeah a job description. Yeah, yeah, it's similar, yeah. Because they're like they'll do anything for money. We'll almost do anything for money. Opposing viewpoints <laughs> with us regarding the safety of the common man. Yeah. They don't sound very nice. <laughs> There's no chance of getting any information on this. I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however, so you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that all right? Championship, championship. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the competition. So yeah, if you'd please. Thank you, Elman. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudia's future husband, we've uncovered a few morsels of information which may have some connection. Uh, okay. A member of the Imperial, Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Grand Cell during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know their name, but we do know this is the first time someone from the family has come to Liberal since the war ten years ago, so this is fairly significant news. I hmm. see. You're right, that it does seem connected with the talk of Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about the Imperial Royal Family. Thanks, Estelle, neither do we. I mean, the <laughs> only Imperial I've ever even met is Olivier. Wait, what? Oh, I, they call Erebonians Imperials. Correct, because it's the Empire Yeah, that, that confused yeah, me for a second. Yeah, no, you're good. It, it is a little confusing. So she's want. just turned 16. Too early for her to be married. Politics at work. Yeah, we're only 16 ourselves. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder who it could the, be. Uh, young lady to make her debut. And I yeah. I'd like to revert it to a much more respect, uh, repressed time. It is much, much too soon. Oh, wow, what a progressive young man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone here is like, yeah, we should, this this sucks, don't do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Political motive to push for wedlock and finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so everything hinges on us winning. On getting that dub. Oh! Oh, there we go. Thank you for the sewer yeah. key. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Access to greats near the Grand Arena. There's some pretty strong monsters living down there. Thank you. We'll use it. We'll use mm -hmm. it. No, no, no. We'll be fine. We'll get there with Jin and... <sighs> Olivier. <laughs> <laughs> After we meet up with them tomorrow. All right. Yeah, let's Cheap roll out. just like you, for real. Yeah, f yeah, actually. Oh. Hey, you two. Oh. Oh, I was just saying, yeah, I forgot. Um, we're on patrol. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we were, well, I mean. They're just saying, yeah, it's, it's a curfew because of the terrorism. Get Sorry out to and cause go any home. trouble. Make sure you're okay. Yeah, okay. You're going to escort us? Is this really, like, is this really, like, are their way of being, like, don't do anything at night, go home? Uh, yes and no. Interesting. We were on security detail. Oh, you guys were the ones who were being mean to our friends. And then we kill them. <laughs> they were being mean to the, uh, to the, oh, yeah, the, to, the sky bandits. Yeah, the, the sky bandits. Yeah. Uh, but all right, that's fine. Big fans yeah. of yours. Yeah. I hate those special. Oh, you should kill those guys. Yeah. No kidding. I just don't get there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard. Yeah, well, it is, but that's because he's a loser and evil, so. Yeah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It's funny because I'm treating this as if it is the end. It's going to wrap up a story, and it's going to be the end of, like, an entire arc, when in reality, we're probably just going to continue straight into the second game with the same plot. Because is there, yeah right yeah just yeah. knowing how this game development was I'm just thinking that we're going towards the end of a game and so my mind is going we're gonna end the story no we're not um 
So yeah, yeah. they accept this as truth, and I'd hate to make any enemies of them since they're rooting for us and all. Oh well, yeah. uh, our, the army guys are dogs anyway. Braces for life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, braces rule, army drools. Yeah, let's there you go. go, there you go, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's chill out. Yay, back to our room. My Let friends. me My out, friends. fuck. Okay. Hey, you look really tired, Estelle. Uh, you should go to sleep. Go to sleep! Fuck. <laughs> alright, alright. Wow. Uh oh, is the door unlocked? Or is there so- Oh, is it- wait, his eyes always go a very specific- yeah. It's very interesting. His eyes yeah. always go a very specific thing when things get real. I don't know how to describe it. They go a little more no, empty. He, he gets his- he puts on his serious face. He locks in. Yeah, he does lock in. <laughs> okay, yeah. I you think gotta we got a trespasser. And I, I'm willing to bet it's our princess. Uh, might she might have escaped. That's- that's my guess. Explosives- <laughs> EXPLOSIVES?! Yeah. <laughs> If yeah, you'd rather stay out here, that's fine. Wait, what do you know, man? Oh, uh, well, actually, I, I don't know what you know, but I know you know more than Estelle. Um, surprise. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's a letter. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. somebody. Uh, so, nor does it feel like there are any traps set. You can seriously yeah. tell that kind of thing? Uh, I guess this is all that was left behind. What? A letter? Joshua broke the seal in the letter. Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please tell no one of this. Okay. And that's it? And what cathedral? That huge Dude, church that over Estelle in the West Block? Phase. She's, it's literally like the fingers pointing at each other like, It's already almost ten Yeah, I'm tired! <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Should we go for it? Oh! Absolutely not. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's his uh, serious expression. W what was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't those soldiers just say that they were going to reinforce tonight's patrol? You can bet they'll keep be keeping a close watch on the West Block, too. Oh, right. Still, I hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Hey, that's... messed up. And also, <laughs> don't hide things from Girly Pop over here. I don't like this. I'm not here for this. It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. I'm not a fan! Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey. Huh? I'm no less a bracer than you are. I can handle myself, and I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue's not gonna work on me this time. Estelle, that's not what I meant. I know that it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me, or more that you're worried for me. What are you not telling me? <sighs> oh. How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you, to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so you have to hurry. Oh, uh, uh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Oh, uh, okay. I, I promise. Let's get a move on, then. Oh, it's crazy for him to act like this, and it's crazy for her to not ask further questions from the from how yeah. skittish he's acting. Yeah. Oh, oh, we gotta kill the guards. I mean, sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. Yeah, okay, we that's fine. Study their movements. Mission. So hold on, it's in the where is it? It's in the west block. In the west block. I don't need to study yeah. shit. Okay. Well, yeah. There's a guard there. Oh, all right. We made it. We made it. We Let's made go. it! Okay. Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. Who is it? I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? <laughs> you came after all. Is it... Oh! Never mind. You. Hey, yeah. aren't you the nun from before? The one who was attacked on the scenic route? Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message? That letter was yours, but... Why would you do something so secretive like that just to say, Oh! Are you in disguise? Ah, uh, now I get it. It was her all along. Oh? You're very observant, Joshua. Is it, is this, is this, um, is this Lieutenant Schwartz? Uh, we'll never know. Uh, get more. Ah! Uh. You sly <laughs> dog. Oh, I never suspected you from the from the beginning when we came across you. Yeah, the non sister Ellen. Yeah, I was wondering what was up with you. Surprise, yeah. surprise! I only caught it at the very last second. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant. Yep, Lieutenant Julius Schwartz, Commander of the Royal Guardsmen, at your service. Good to see you. 
It's been a long time. You it two. has been. I knew you'd come. So I see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was Correct. back in Ron, right? Yeah. Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that getup? And why'd you call us here? I'll answer your questions one at a time. First, the close. The Septian Church has a long and deep ties with the royal family. Mm. Colonel Richard's little conspiracy has us on the run, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. Very good. Oh, okay. The answer to your other question, why I called you here, if you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to the dinner party at the castle, right? Correct. What I need you to do is get to, to get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. I think we were planning on that already. Yeah, I realize that it's a selfish request, but since we're basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope yes, we have. Yes, ma'am. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. <laughs> Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Joshua explained the request yeah, that Professor Russell gave them during the Lesson Fortress incident. Really now? Almighty Adios, thank you for your gift, most sacred. Oh, jeez. In that case, I, only, I have only one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course, that was the plan from the get-go. That non-involvement rule still applies even in situations like this, but we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please, take this with you. A gun, dang it. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Julia's Nuclear letter. Bomb. What's this? Um, right, so give, it, give this to the head maid, Hilda, and she'll know that you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under very heavy guard by the special Yeah. Officer, but you can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. She sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it. We'll talk to her. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Pathetic, isn't it? no. Yeah. I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. Hey, man. You can't imagine how helpless I feel having to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there's a chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. <laughs> I'm certain that you'll do just fine. That Calvardian martial, martial artist is extremely mm. skilled. And you're both children of Colonel Cassius Bright. You mean you knew our dad too? Who didn't know our dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's not without reason that he was known as the finest swordman in all the Royal Army. Oh my. Divine blade at that. Oh my. Before he retired from service, I had a chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the Fuck military dude, academy. Fuck, everybody learned under our dad. Yes, sir. He's the goat. If it was <sighs> not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I... I can't believe that. Dad's never used anything except a bow staff. Yeah, probably not so he doesn't hurt you or others. Yeah. I guess he must have never given up the... Or he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. Yeah. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. There he you wanted go. to improve himself and help those weaker than me. That's why I chose the bow staff as his weapon. Or so I imagine. Really? I didn't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. <laughs> I'm sure he just hoped you'd inherit that same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have the I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. Against the intelligence? I mean, have you seen those guys? <laughs> have you seen Lawrence? <laughs> All right. Hey, the machine. Well, okay. Everything we have into it. Oh, oh um, stinky. Hey, this is the city guard. Be the terrorist, so you'll not be trying to tell the police there. But you're not looking. Yeah, something. crap. <laughs> Just a moment. Oh, oh, she, oh, she's spin. <laughs> she's spin. All right, get out from the back. Let's go in the back. Go outside. Okay. Get out there. Thank you, Lieutenant Schwartz. I missed you. Good to see you. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to get back. Oh, okay, 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 cool. So yeah. we just get to re okay. Oh, now we just get to sit yeah. on a bench. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> so much is going on. It's starting to give me a headache. <laughs> I bet. Never would have imagined it would be Lieutenant Schwartz waiting for us at the. Who cathedral. did you think it was, you piece of shit? Well, I think he just assumed it was. Yeah. Wait. So, she wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be you were thinking it'd be someone you'd known before? Well. Oh. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. Estelle. Oh, I won't ask you anything about before you met until you're ready to tell me. <laughs> I, I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips my mind. Estelle, I, I think you've gotten a little stronger during a little. our travels. Have you seen Parage? <laughs> it's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living his or her own life all under the same sky. One might say a trail in the sky. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every person you meet has a personality and a history and a story to tell. Every one of them is just like us, living day by day. 
Sometimes I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that, that I start to feel I might be able to reclaim the parts of me I lost. You are so- okay, I take it back. Olivier is not the international man of mystery, it's Joshua. <laughs> whoa, Joshua. Whoa, whoa. how dare you? No, 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 no. Olivier can keep 007, or even, like, you know, Ethan Hunt from Mission yeah. Impossible, right? Understandable, right. But Joshua truly is the most mysterious man in the world. Uh, he nah, definitely dude. drinks- what's the drink? Um, shoot! A martini? No, 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 no. What's the drink for the uh, mysterious, most mysterious man in the world? Oh, no, that's the most interesting oh, man in the world. Oh, it's Yeah, the no, it's Dos yeah. In the world. Joshua? I'm probably just fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting things I can't This change. is a really important conversation. Sorry, Joshua. <laughs> but even so, I'm grateful for the crisp, refreshing taste stop, of this. Stop, stop. It's not an <laughs> ad. Guy. It's not an ad for Dos Equis. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh god. The sky, most, most dad. Of most of all you. Sorry, this is a really yeah. serious conversation. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. It's on me. It's on me. Um, <laughs> Joshua. So, I promise. Once this whole matter matter is centered and if dad comes back safe. Oh no. If. I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. Oh wow. R really? Really. With the stars as my witness. Oh god, I love it when people say shit like that. With the stars <laughs> as my witness. Hmm. Okay then, we have our. Hey, uh, still, there still might be guards about around. Like yeah. I know we said that the, the night patrols are done, but like you see, like the exclamation point over their head. Who's over there? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All my gloom's gone fluttering away. Cause once you've told me what you're gonna, you, you've got to tell me, then I'll tell you what I've got to tell you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel funny about uh, this. Oh, wait, is this the thing you've had on your mind? I feel funny about this. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have to psych myself up for it. Psych yourself up? Is it really something so dramatic? It's Joshua, I love you! I mean, if it's that important, I really don't mind hearing about no, it now. No, I can't. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Oh, dang, did you learn from the, the Love is War school of love? Timing <laughs> oh, is <no>. everything, <laughs> according to that. Um, but anyway. I guess the situation does feel kind of right, but still, no dice, not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now, all because we got a big talk planned. Makes no sense. No, I think she might just be neurodivergent. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for, honestly, probably. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. Ain't no way. I'm going to show those special ops types how a touch of girl power can ruin their whole day. Ruin their... <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Whoa! You really are your father's daughter. Dude, we've never seen him belly laugh like that. Yeah, right. I don't, this is the most Estelle face he's ever made. That's true. He never makes this face, like a face full of mirth. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It is a little lie. scary. <laughs> uh, what's that supposed to mean? You better not be comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Somehow, I think we're going to do just fine tomorrow. After we train in the sewers B. Yeah. Um, They, st they then spent eight hours training in the sewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I returned oh, no. to the embassy, over full of spirit, when those tiresome guards saw fit to stop and cast flaming, stinging disparagements at me. I tightened security at night, supposedly for anti-terrorist purposes. You two okay? Yeah, we went to bed rather early, so we didn't have any We problems. lie. We, uh, he's lying. Yeah. <laughs> and Elnan lent us something that might really give us an edge. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Estelle explained that Elnan had loaned them the spare key to the Grenzel sewers. Now that could come in candy. It's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He's always, he always knows what you need and when you need it. So what do you say we check out the sewers? Yeah, let's roll. North yeah, in the let's arena. Let's go. All right, guys. That's all the time that we have for today. Uh, I guess it was just a lot of prep and story. Yeah, uh, prep and story was a big one. Some grinding of, of levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, we needed to do some of that so we could be ready for truly the fight to end all fights thus far. The, the grand final. The grand final of the tournament arc, and we will actually be finishing it in the next episode. So let's go. We hope you guys enjoyed that. We definitely did. And we will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.